guys welcome to a new vlog on the channel I just made some breakfast I did a little like egg white and veggie kind of mix I did sauteed spinach cherry tomatoes avocado I have turkey bacon and yeah my egg whites and then I'm going to put some sriracha on the eggs oh my god this has been my favorite breakfast the past few days it's super good it's really filling and I just love the mix of the protein and the veggies it was getting really noisy out in the main area so i had to move into the office so yes what was i saying i am just having breakfast just got up got ready for my day today's monday and it's the day after daylight savings time and i really wish they would stop doing that because i feel like it messes with everyone's sleep and i read an article saying it's not good for our health so um yeah i'm just feeling kind of like tired and delirious so I made a coffee as well. I wanted this vlog to be kind of centered around health and wellness because I mentioned in my previous vlogs, I'm in my wellness girl era. I'm very into like taking care of myself and my body and like taking vitamins and supplements and healthy things and eating healthy, working out and all that stuff. So I wanted to kind of focus this vlog around my wellness routine like the different things I'm taking, supplements and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go back in the kitchen later and show you guys like all of the vitamins that I took already because I take them all before I eat breakfast. And then I think I'll do another like kind of mini what I eat in a day. So it'll be like a kind of a really chill, random mix of what I eat in a day, my wellness routine. So yeah, I think it'll be, you know, nice little vlog to talk about stuff like that. So. Yeah, so today I started off with my vitamins, which again, I will go and I'm going to show you guys that right after this. And then I ate my breakfast, which you saw, um, it was like the egg whites and I've stopped eating whole eggs. I'll eat them like every now and then like a boiled egg, but I've switched over to like egg whites and I feel like that's made a difference. And then I sauteed some spinach, some tomatoes, avocado, pretty much just a big plate of veggies and then my little protein, my uncurred turkey bacon. I always am now drinking my coffee after I eat breakfast. I try not to chug a full cup of coffee in the morning before I eat anything. I used to do that every day and it's not the best for you. It does not set up your stomach for a successful day. Um, so after, or actually before I eat breakfast, the other thing I also do like on, on an empty stomach is I drink my super greens which again i'll show you guys the super greens i'm using in a minute i drink my super greens take my vitamins all at the same time i wait about like 20 to 30 minutes and then i'll eat breakfast and then after i finish my breakfast maybe in like 10 minutes i will make my coffee and i put collagen in my coffee and then that usually keeps me full for like two or three hours and then i'll have lunch and lunch is different every single day i might just do like a salad today with some meatballs or something like that just depending on what's in my fridge i haven't been grocery shopping in a week i need to like at this point clear up what's in my fridge right now and like eat everything before i go grocery shopping again probably in a couple days oh and then dinner i have leftover crock pot i made a crock pot meal a couple days ago and it's the same crock pot meal that i have made in a couple vlogs before it's like chicken potatoes beans the onion nut soup um mix so i'll link a vlog where i made that but i made that the other day so i have so much left over so i don't have to cook tonight which is great but yeah okay so i'm gonna um actually do some work i'm gonna finish my coffee and then in the next clip i will show you guys all of my supplements and drinks and all that stuff all right so i have all of my like supplements and little drinks here i know this looks like a lot i don't take all of this every day so i'll start off with like the little powders and drinks this is the ray vegan collagen i do have this every day i just put a scoop of this in my coffee every morning you know collagen is good for hair skin and nails so definitely a must for me every day and then another thing every day that i drink are some type of greens and i really have been liking the detox greens from sunwink got this from target it's like busted because i actually ordered this online because i couldn't find it in store but i love this because it helps support radiance and de-bloating so i drink this every morning i just put like a scoop in water and i drink that like with all my vitamins so this is a daily for me this is not a daily this is another product from sunwink it's the cacao clarity and i heard a lot of good things about cacao and it's supposed to help like focus and like calmness, vitality. 
So I drink this like, I don't know, maybe once in a while, like in the afternoons when I feel like I am having like a midday slump or if I feel like I'm getting tired just to like help me focus more. And then I've mentioned this, I think in a couple videos, but I got these from Amazon. It's these like mood boosters. This is the brand recess and it comes in these little packets. And this is great to drink at nighttime. It kind of just helps relaxes you. It's a signature blend that helps brain support and it helps promote a healthy stress response. I read reviews before I got it and people were saying that they like to put this in water and drink it at nighttime in replacement of like an evening wine to help relax. And now my supplements, I do take a multivitamin and then I have a bunch of stuff here. So I just have like my iron. So I have iron deficiency. This was recommended by my doctor. Also take everything I say with a grain of salt. Like if you um, really want an expert opinion, I would probably ask your doctor. And I consulted with my doctor on all of these. So that's why I take all them. So yeah, my doctor told me I need more iron in my body. My doctor also told me I was low on D. I think I'm actually good now, but I still take D3 every day. And then I take this calcium, magnesium, and zinc. Those are like the daily ones that I take for overall health. And then I take a B complex. It also has C and it has like, you know, all the important B vitamins. And then I also take my symbiotic from seed, I love this stuff. I started taking this like a couple months ago now and it's really helped my digestive system. I rarely get stomach aches anymore, upset stomach. I don't get any of that stuff anymore. It's helped with like gas and bloating. I rarely experience that when I take this every single day. I take two of these every morning before breakfast. And then another new supplement I've started to take is L-glutamine. I love this stuff to support my gut health. And it just, you know, helps again with preventing leaky gut, preventing upset stomach and all that, and just helps to line your gut. Lastly, these are some supplements I don't, again, take every day. These are kind of like all every day. I take those every morning. Um, and then these ones are from JS Health. I've talked about this brand before a little bit. I love the detox and de-bloat pills specifically for when I'm really bloated, like after a night of eating salty foods or a night of drinking wine or beer or whatever. I like this combination, taking these two together. So on days when I take this, I take them twice a day after meals. I forgot to mention another powdered drink that I like to drink often is from Peak. These are the BT Fountain Beauty Electrolytes youthful skin deep hydration. It has hyaluronic acid and ceramides, so great at hydrating my skin and my body. So yeah, I don't take this every day, um, just sometimes when I feel like my skin is looking really dull and dry, um, but I try to drink it like once a day, but it's like a lot to keep up with. It's so many drinks, so I don't always drink this every day, um, but like only when I really remember or when I feel like my skin's super dehydrated. I have a little beauty haul I wanted to show you guys because it is such a cute package. I was actually gifted these products from Dior Beauty, so thank you very much, Dior. I'm actually working with them on a TikTok. It wasn't like completely gifted. Um, it's like a collab I'm doing with them, so um, yeah, I filmed a TikTok today, and I already unboxed everything, but I also wanted to show it in the vlog as well because these are some really cute things, and the new products that they have for beauty and their beauty line are really fun. So the first thing I got is actually a phone charm. And one thing about ordering from Dior Beauty, like directly from their website, is that you get a lot of free uh, complimentary gifts and free gifts with purchase. So I got a few free gifts with purchase. The one thing I got was this phone charm. And I got this because I signed up for uh, text notifications and they texted me a code. And yeah, so it's like a cute little phone charm. It has little like um, charms on here that say Dior and the classic CD charm down here. Super cute. I love the design of it. So yeah, I got a cute little phone charm and then another complimentary gift with purchase. I think this was free with purchases over 175 is a little makeup bag. It's like a pastel pink color, so cute. It's really small, but I think this will be nice for like in your purse, just to carry, you know, the essentials, lipstick, lip gloss, all that stuff in here. Got some samples of perfumes. I really love their perfumes. I think they just are so feminine and girly 
and so gorgeous. So the first one I got is, you know what? I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this because I cannot say that word. That's the first little sample I got. It's a nice size. This will be good for traveling, but this smells so nice. It smells so light and florally. Very, very, very like classy. And then I got these two little samples. These both also smell really good. And then I also got this. I think this is free with $100 purchase. It's the J'adore uh, perfume. I love this one. I used to have this one years ago. So it's always been such a really pretty scent. Comes with the body milk and the little tiny deluxe size perfume, or not deluxe size, what do you call it? Like a deluxe uh, sample size. And then I got one, two, three, four, five different makeup products. These are all new products that I've never owned or tried before. The first thing I got are these mattifying papers. These are actually brand new this season. It's a new product and I thought it was super cute. I love the packaging. They're just like blotting papers, super cute. And I think these might be refillable. I'm not quite sure though. They look like they're refillable because it came like with the blotting pad separate from the little compact. So I just like slipped it in and that's how it is. So it will be really nice to put in my purse. I'm gonna start filling up this little like makeup bag. So I think I'm gonna put this in my purse and like travel bag. So that's the first thing I got. And then I also got an eyeshadow palette. This is the 659 Mirror Mirror. They're so pretty right up my alley for eyeshadow colors. It's like very warm. We got some browns, like a copper, kind of like an olive color, or like a brown color. So pretty. And then it comes with the little brushes, but I never use the brushes that come with these palettes. And the packaging is really pretty as well. And this is a product I am so excited for. The Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. Such a gorgeous color. I really am loving this color for blushes. I have a blush that's currently this color from another brand, and I like the color, but the texture and consistency and the quality of it, I don't like at all. It's very like powdery and cakey. It makes my face look really dry. So I wanted to try this one out. Oh my gosh, look at this like Barbie pink color. I love this type of color for blush. I just think it makes you look super, super pretty. So I'm very excited to try this. Oh, I'm going to do an updated get ready with me probably in the next vlog because I'm not really going anywhere. So I don't need to do my makeup today. But I think next time I vlog, I will do like a updated makeup routine. I saw a few comments like in my last vlog or the last time I wore makeup of someone asking me to do updated makeup routines. So I definitely want to do that soon. And I'll probably incorporate some of these new products that I got from Dior. So, oh, the next thing I got, I'm so excited about this too. So this is the Lip Glow Oil, but I've always wanted to try it. So I got the color in 001 Pink. That's actually the same shade as the blush, but here's an up close. It's basically like a lip gloss, um, but it, you know, is really good, like moisturizing texture. So it'll make your lips feel really soft and moisturized. And then here's the best part. So Dior Beauty has engraving services available on the website. You can get like engravings and perfume bottles. So there are two new beauty products that they just added to their engraving services, one of them being the Glow Lip Oils. So it's $10 extra to get engraving, but it was complimentary for me probably because I spent over a certain amount. So yeah, I got a free engraving in my lip gloss. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see that? It says Stephanie. Yeah, there you go. The Stephanie on it so I like almost don't want to use this lip gloss I like want to keep it as like a remembrance and like a I don't know key what do you call it like a yeah just like a lip gloss and makeup product I can keep for a long time I might like buy another one to actually use and get use out of um, but I really I never want to get rid of this bottle like this is just super cute the last thing I got is a lipstick this is in the color 100 nude look it's a velvet lipstick and I just love the packaging of all of Dior's beauty products. And this got kind of damaged in the travels here. So it's like not a big deal. These kind of things don't bother me. Um, yeah, there's the shade, very pretty nude color. You guys know me and my nude colors. That's really all I wear. I do a little swatch of this. I don't know if it's focusing or not. I don't think so. There we go. Yeah. So there's that, and that's all that I got from Dior. So yeah, if you ever want to buy Dior beauty products, 
definitely shop directly from their site because like I said they have so many complimentary samples and gifts with purchase I used to buy my Dior beauty products from Sephora because that's where I get all of my makeup and beauty products for the most part but I went on the website this is my first time ordering for them and I'm so happy with like the presentation like they give you the whole nice like presentation the phone charm came in this little box like this is how they package their purses too so really cute and yeah i'll link everything in my description all right guys it's now lunch time so i am making my lunch for the day and also for the next few days i'm going to be making tuna i've made this on the vlog plenty of times before but this i pretty much eat every day so i'm trying to keep this as realistic as possible and just showing you what i really eat on a daily basis but I love tuna because it's high in protein low in calorie it tastes good I've loved tuna since I was a kid I love putting it like on toast or in wraps or on salads but lately I've been eating them with low carb tortilla wraps and making like a little tuna wrap it's just a really quick and easy lunch so I have my tuna here I put some lemon in it some light mayo a little tiny bit of Dijon mustard and then I cut up an onion I also normally put celery but I don't have any more so we're just gonna do an onion for today and then I put some paprika and then a teeny teeny tiny bit of cumin it makes it taste really good with the cumin and the paprika I usually would just do like salt and pepper um, but cumin and paprika make t makes it taste so good so and I also have my salt and pepper so that's it really easy to make I'm gonna um, make this and then put it in the fridge I do not like to eat tuna that's room temperature I prefer it cold so I'll make this and put it in the fridge and then I'm gonna prep my dessert that I have been making it's like a kind of a healthy dessert Okay, so I'm gonna prep the dessert that I was talking about while my tuna is getting cold in the fridge. So I'm gonna be taking some Greek yogurt. Preferably I would use fat free. I'm going to spread this on a baking sheet. I'm gonna put some parchment paper down first. Spread that out and then put some berries all around and then I'm going to melt some chocolate and drizzle it over and freeze it and kind of create like a yogurt bark. So like a really healthy kind of candy bark. I was having issues with the chocolate drizzle so it literally looks like poop is on the yogurt. I should have just thrown the chocolate chips over, but I was just, I don't know, I was having issues this time, but it's fine, it'll come out still good. So I'm going to put this in the freezer now for like a few hours until it's frozen and we'll enjoy this later tonight after dinner. Something else I've been eating every day is a pickle on the side of my lunch, whether it's a sandwich or salad or whatever, pickle always. I did some rearranging in the living room just on a whim because I was noticing I didn't like the balance of the lighting in the living room, so I just swapped the lamp and then the olive tree. And I think I'm digging it because I really like the evenly distributed light a lot more now. I feel like the living room is a lot more lit up and we for the most part like sit on this part of the couch rarely over there sometimes we do but not really but like this is the spot I love to sit in the most like this little corner and then Anto also likes to sit in this corner whenever I'm not so um, sometimes the light gets too bright when we're just sitting there under it. it feels like an interrogation light is like directly over us I do like it for reading though and just for general light especially when all the like ceiling lights are off and I just want all the low lights on. So I'm gonna turn off the um, kitchen lights so we can see how it looks without that. Oh yeah, 
That's cute. See, I like that so much better. I just felt like it was way too dark in the living room, but I feel like since it's like right in the middle now of the living room, rather than like kind of on the side, even more towards like the dining room and the kitchen, I feel like before, I don't know, I just didn't like the balance of the lighting, but I think it looks so much better and I think it looks cute there too. Makes the living room look more cozy. The only thing I don't like is how you can see the plug over there. Oh, maybe I'll move the blanket basket in front of it and maybe that'll hide it kind of. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe, yeah, it's okay. Maybe let me move it like more centered underneath the frame. I don't know, I'll see. For now it's fine, but yeah, I love it. So here is what the apartment looks like at night and I love the bedroom. I did post a short on my bedroom tour. It was like a nighttime bedroom tour. I love how it looks at night, especially with the new black bed and my new lamps. I set the light bulbs because I do have LED light bulbs that uh, change colors in both those lamps and also this lamp. So I can adjust the color and the temperature. I always set it really, really warm because I just feel like it's more cozy and warm at night and it makes the bedroom look really cozy. And then I also love my little mushroom lamp that I talked about in the apartment tour. I was saying how I love how it gives like a really cozy glow um, at nighttime. So I love it. And there's my clean laundry. I did laundry today, didn't vlog it. I don't think I like vlogging laundry anymore because I feel like that's so boring, but um, I have to fold the laundry tonight. But yeah, this is like that glow I was talking about. It really lights up the room and it makes such a difference when it's not on, so. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna enjoy a nice little night here. So I am gonna work out. I haven't eaten dinner yet. I'm actually very full because I had a late breakfast and a late lunch. And every time I eat that tuna for lunch, it always fills me up for hours. So that's why I really like it too, is I, I stay full for hours and I don't snack. During the day, I pretty much just eat like my, I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> yeah, so I rarely snack anymore because I aim to make my meals very filling. So my breakfast had a lot of protein and veggies and then my lunch obviously was a lot of protein and I rarely get hungry anymore. And if I do get hungry, I'll like make edamame for a snack, which is my favorite snack. I got like a huge pack from Costco. And I also like to make smoothies as a snack. And I'm gonna make a protein smoothie after I work out because I always wanna like get a lot of protein in right after I work out. For my workout today, I'm going to do a cardio hit class. I've been loving uh, cardio hit classes that are on the Peloton app. What I do is I like mirror it to my TV and I move the coffee table and I just like work out right here. Like in this area, I'll move the table and I'll put like a workout mat in the living room. I have the app on my phone and I just mirror it to my TV and I follow along that way. So that's my workout. I'm gonna do probably thir a 30 minute class and then I might do a 10 minute, uh, what do you call it? A 10 minute core class and then a 10 minute chest and arms class. Hey guys, I just did a workout. I'm kind of out of breath still, but I'm gonna go ahead and make a protein smoothie. So I want to show you guys how I've been making them lately. So I usually do a mix of greens and fruit, usually spinach, sometimes kale, but today I'm gonna use some baby spinach and then I just got this fruit blend mix from Target as mango, peaches, pineapple, bananas. I'm also gonna um, put a fresh banana in because my bananas are going bad so I need to use them. So I'm gonna, yeah, mix those together and then this is the protein. I'm using the Orgain vanilla flavored. This tastes delicious. I think this with a combination of banana uh, makes smoothies taste so sweet and also because my banana is super ripe, it's gonna taste very sweet. And then I always use either almond milk or coconut water just depending on what I have, um, but both taste really good. And then my Nutribullet, this is all I use now to make smoothies. Oh, and I also put chia seeds. I need to grab that. Yeah, I always do a little scoop of chia seeds as well. Look how vibrant and green that looks. Oh my gosh, it looks good. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that is the stuff. So I like to... Um, drink this and then wait about an hour to eat dinner or honestly I just listen to my body I eat when I'm hungry sometimes it takes an hour sometimes it's sooner these smoothies like aren't that filling um I know it's protein and it's supposed to keep you full but I need like 
uh, hard, substantial food in my stomach, and I haven't eaten since that tuna wrap, and that was like a few hours ago. So yeah, I'm probably gonna end up eating in an hour, but again, I'm gonna just listen to my body. And my dinner will be, like I said, the crock pot leftover meal. I'm gonna go ahead and link the vlog where I made that so you can see like how I make it, what you need, the ingredients, how to cook it, and then what it looks like. I probably won't vlog that part because, um, I don't know, the leftovers won't look that great, but yeah. If you wanna see what my dinner is, Check out the vlog that's in my description. All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to shower and go to bed. This daylight savings, literally, I just feel so out of it. Is anyone else struggling as much as I am with the daylight savings change? Like, I feel like I'm always tired and I feel like my energy just like went away. I feel like an hour doesn't even make that much of a difference, but it kind of does. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna end it right here. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions about anything like any of the things that i eat or just anything that i mentioned in the video thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys on my next one